obviously a very frustrating night. How do you assess the performance today? Well, I think we were obviously well beaten from a, a really, really strong team. Um, we were probably the worst form of ourselves the, on the ball and um, give Rux several goals. And obviously, um, we lacked intensity, we thought, after half time, which that was the element that hurts a bit, you know, because we said at half time, look, OK, treat it as a, a separate game. You know, we're, um, I'm not going to batter them because the, the lads have been absolutely magnificent for the football club for several months. We've been hard to beat, we've been entertaining, we've been everything that we want to see from Harrogate Town, uh, the Harrogate Town team. Um, but tonight we weren't, and we have to treat it as a one-off and move it on quickly. But we have to learn from the harsh lessons that were dealt by a really strong team tonight. What was your message to the players after the game? Like you say, it has been so out of character given the performance you've put in this week. Well, not to suddenly rip it up, you know, the way we've been playing. You know, we have been entertaining, we've, we've been good in all aspects. Um, but we have to step it up again to be able to compete with the likes of Mansfield. You know, and we've, um, it's closer to the playoffs, we deserve, quite deservedly so after 30 games. Um, but tonight, it was just a reminder that a relaxed attitude can't be a sloppy one. A sloppy one. And, um, you know, you can't uh, make the errors that we, that we did. Um, and then we, we can't be riddleless on the pitch in terms of uh, the team shape. You know, we have to be, we have to know at 3 0. You know, you, for a spell, we're going to have to be gritty and hard to beat. And um, we became too spaced out. And then it was too easy to play against. And we uh, didn't, didn't lay a glove, which is not a characteristic of ours uh, over the years. Um, perhaps we all got ahead of ourselves for a few days and we have to learn that yeah. from that. Yeah, obviously, you know, we've got travelling support here as well. They stayed to the end and still caught the players, so what do you say to them? They did, yeah, they did, because, um, you know, despite the team's great efforts recently, you, you know, you could be forgiven for them feeling feeling upset about that. You know, we've seen nine goals uh, conceded. Um, I thought they were brilliant throughout, and, um, you know, uh, we really appreciate that. And so did the players. We acknowledge that in the changing room. That, um, we're all hurting, and we're, you know we're hurting more than a, a you know small margin defeat. Obviously, we don't want that scoreline, um, but we have to just bounce. We have to be that team that are really good at bouncing, and we've done it before, and we'll do it again um, through strong-minded people, um, strong will, and an ability to um, to dust ourselves off. You know, it was, it was a, a hard night, a hard night, but um, like I said, we bounced back before. And do you want to see from the players to, to show a positive reaction on Saturday? Well, it's all, all about people really, isn't it? About um, people being able to carry themselves now, uh, carry a disappointment. We've lost three points and um, you know, we can go to another really good team and show an ability to be hard to beat, which is, I say, has been in evidence throughout the season uh, until tonight. And um, we can show our mettle. And first and foremost, that's the main characteristic that has to shine through. You know, and, and then we've got your own ability to learn. You know, we um, there's lots to do, lots to go for this season. And tonight, in spite of a you know incredible scoreline for Mansfield, a fair play to them. I thought they were brilliant uh, in all aspects. Um, we were well beaten, and they were the better team. But uh, in spite of that, we've got everything to go for if we have a positive attitude.